CME Info's continuing education and board certification programs bring the conference to you. The following is a video sample from the University of California, San Francisco School of Medicine's Emergency Ultrasound. This excerpt is from course director, Dr. Ramon Benjamin's lecture titled, Rapid Ultrasound for Shock Slash Hypotension. Today we're gonna to be talking about the RUSH protocol, uh, which is basically rapid ultrasound for shock and hypotension. And the first uh, component um, in the high map mnemonic is looking at the heart. So we'll start with a parasternal long axis view. We'll put the probe, um, this, in this case we're using the cardiac probe, which is a low frequency probe, uh, directly to the left of the sternum. Um, with the probe dot, if the probe dot on our screen is on the left, we'll be putting the um, probe indicator on the probe toward the patient's left hip. And this is the view that we'll obtain. You notice here we see the right ventricle, the left ventricle, the aortic outflow tract, the left atrium, the mitral valve, and the aortic valve. So this is the view that we would look for a pericardial effusion. We'd looking, be looking both along the anterior portion of the pericardium here, as well as the posterior portion of the pericardium, and this is the descending aorta here. So we'd be looking for free fluid basically along this area right there. So this is the peristernal long axis view, the first component of the heart exam in the high map mnemonic. If we take in, we turn the probe dot toward the patient's right hip, then we get a short axis view where we're looking mainly right here at the left ventricle. And this is a view that we're gonna to use to look for wall motion abnormality. So if we look at the anterior wall here, the posterior wall, the lateral wall, and the septal wall, we're looking for concentric contractility. If we see any particular wall that's not contracting in toward the center, then we get worried about wall motion abnormality, such as in the setting of an acute MI. The next view when looking at the heart would be the apical four chamber view. Once again, the probe dot uh, or the probe indicator on the um, transducer would be toward the patient's right hip. We're gonna go just below the nipple line at the point of maximal impulse right here. And we're gonna just adjust our view until we get a nice four chamber view. Sometimes you may need to push fairly hard to get this view, and it's most difficult to get between the ribs. This gives us an indication right here of a four chamber view. You see the right ventricle on the left side of the screen, the left ventricle on the right side of the screen, and the atria at the bottom of the screen here. And what we're looking for in this view is basically a right ventricle that is less than in size to the left ventricle. As long as the right ventricle is smaller, then we're not concerned about right heart strain. If the right ventricle is equal in size or greater in size than the left, then that's when we're concerned about right heart strain, such as in the setting of an acute uh, pulmonary embolus. Top quality board certification reviews and continuing education programs, guaranteed. For more information about this self-study activity, go to www.cmeinfo.com slash 774V or call us at 1-800-284-8433.